We're starting off Monday with this very textbook Natalie outfit, crop top, high waisted culottes, mules, and big ol' earrings. This is probably one of my favorite outfits that I wore, and I have to say, I'm pretty proud of myself for being brave enough to wear this top. As you guys know, I don't like showing a lot of skin, you know, cleavage and arms and stuff, but I've been really proud of the work I've been putting into my body, so here's to me showing off a little something something. <laughs> Tuesday, I knew, oh, oh wait, <laughs> look at this kid. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> he eventually found his mom. Uh, anyway, so I had to wear an outfit that was breathable and comfortable because we were going to walk up mad ton of stairs to go see the Big Buddha. So I wore this really cute off the shoulder top from ASOS along with my trusty white shirts from WeGo. And you know I had to throw in some one piece in there because one piece is life, man. And oh, on my feet, I'm wearing literally the comfiest mules ever. They are perfect for my white ass feet and perfect to climb up mad stairs. Wednesday, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, okay? Because your girl was a sweaty mess. There I am wearing jeans, a velvet bandeau. Hey, look a little ma in the background. She's so cute. <laughs> and a jean jacket, girl. I, I honestly, I don't know what I was thinking, but since Hong Kong has AC everywhere, all I had to do was just get inside somewhere and we were good to go. We were all right. We weren't sweating, no mo's. Yeah. Thursday's outfit is definitely another favorite. The whole getup just paired so well with the hella Instagram aesthetic location of the Choi Hung estate. And also with this outfit, you might be thinking, oh, she looks so easy breezy. Nope. No girl, okay, no. The sun was coming strong, but luckily we were able to finish filming before all the sweat stains started to appear on my dress, so yay. <laughs> When Friday rolled around, I was feeling pretty lazy. So I decided to throw on a bunch of hairpins to make it look like I actually did something, maybe put a little bit more effort into my hair. Um, and I slipped into this ultra comfy dress from Monkey. By this time, uh, my favorite and only belt broke back in Hong Kong. So I tied a scarf around my waist because we are thrifty here at Yo Home Girl, okay? And we just had to make do. Finally, we get to Saturday's outfit, and in hindsight, I should have worn something a bit more breathable because we walked up multiple hella steep stairs. So by the time we reached the top top, my clothes were drenched in sweat. Luckily, I had my hair up in these low buns, but it wasn't actually like to keep me cool, but an attempt to curl my hair because I actually forgot my curling iron at home. Oopsies. So those were my outfits of the week. Let me know which day was your favorite and I'll catch you in the next one, homies. Bye. <laughs> Plot twist, the main character of this video was that grandpa. <laughs>